What's going on everybody? Steve V here with another video and today I have a quick question for you guys. Do you feel that Arcade 1UP is burning a bridge with their hardcore fans when it comes to these re-release cabinets? I have some opinions on this and I want to talk to you guys about them right after this. So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I asked you guys a question and the question was, do you feel like Arcade 1UP is burning a bridge with their hardcore fans when it comes to these re-releases? Now I have two opinions on the matter. One is strictly on the re-releases and the other one is more as far as the timeline is concerned with these re-releases. So I'm going to start with my first opinion and that is how I feel about the fact that Arcade 1UP is re-releasing these cabinets. I actually feel very uh, positive about the, uh, the situation that these cabs are getting re-released. Uh, I love the fact that they're getting better every year. Uh, you want to see a company improve their products uh, on a yearly basis. Uh, you know, we see it with phones, we see it with cars, we see it with toy products. You want to just see things get better. And that's what Arcade 1UP is doing. Um, so regarding these re-releases and, and all these different form factors that are going to be coming out, uh, where we're going to see a lot of these cabinets um, getting re-released and, and, and a lot of the same titles being done over uh, with cabinets that look pretty similar to the way we first saw them, but maybe just with better form factors, full coin doors, all that stuff. Um, it's all great stuff, all positive. Where my issue lies and where I feel like they're kind of burning the hardcore community a little bit is their timeline with a lot of this stuff. Um I have a situation I'm going to talk about where it's a timeline done properly and I have a situation where it's a timeline done terribly. I'm actually going to start with the terrible first. Probably the worst example is the re-release of the legacy caps. Uh, Arcade 1UP gave us four great legacy caps last year. The Atari Legacy, which is the Tempest. The Midway Legacy, which is the Mortal Kombat 2 cap. The Capcom Legacy, which is the Street Fighter 2 and the Bandai Namco Legacy, which is the Pac-Man. They gave us those last year. 12 games, you know, all the games have different settings. Great cabinets. I spent over two grand on all four of those cabinets. So then CES rolls around this year, and basically all we get is an announcement of re-releases. The problem is three of those re-releases were Legacy cabs, that basically devalued uh, the cabs that they just came out with last year that a lot of us spent our hard-earned money on. That's where I have a problem. To me, that's such a slap in the face to your customers that follow your company and really felt like they got a great product last year with your legacy cabs. Did some of them need improvements? Yeah, the Midway and the Capcom Legacy, the height, the screen, uh, those were a little off. You know, if anybody was taller than 5'8", they had a hard time seeing the top of the screen because of the height and uh, where the marquee was. Uh, obviously, the control deck was sunken down, so there was the edges. So that kind of made it hard to play. There was room for improvement. But to basically re-release three out of those four uh, a year later, you know, two extra games, Wi-Fi, Better form factors, uh, faux coin door. Like, to me, that's just, that, I, I, as a company, I mean, you got the license. I get you just want to make money. I get a company does not necessarily make decisions by heart. They make decisions by money. I get that. But at some point, you got to think, like, am I going to alienate my hardcore fans by doing this? And... I guess in their mind, they, they don't really care. So that's where my problem kind of lies with the company. Uh, I wish that they came out with those re-releases. I'm glad they did the re-releases, but why couldn't they wait at least two years? And the reason why I kind of throw that option out there is because they did it with a particular cabinet 
that's going to be coming out this year. And if you look at the reception from your hardcore audience, a lot of people are very excited for this particular cab coming out. And that is an updated Golden T. Now, Golden T came out in 2019. Great cabinet, a cabinet that I love. I, I play my Golden T all the time. And it seems like the majority of people that have it love that cabinet as well. We got a, a bit of a tease at one of the um, uh, electronic shows. I, I forget if it was CES or E3, uh, where uh, there was a, a marquee that was put on the Golden T cabinet that showed Golden T and Silver Strike Bowling. That got a lot of people excited and talking about the fact that they were really looking forward to an updated Golden T that also had bowling. Uh, then there was it was later kind of um, uh, revoked as far as saying like Silver Strike Bowling wouldn't work. Uh, you know, the PCB just can't handle that kind of game. But maybe someday we would get a Golden T with bowling on it as well. Three years later, we finally, we don't have an official announcement, but we finally see that there is a Golden T cabinet that's going to be coming out. You know, we've seen that it's been shipped to the ports. Uh, we've seen it go up for pre-order in the UK. Uh, and it's a Golden T cabinet with eight games. Uh, it's going to be the XL cab or Pro. Either way, it's going to be a taller cab with no riser. And it's going to have bowling on it as well. And a lot of people are very excited for this cabinet because we had the time to enjoy our first Golden T cabinet. We really felt like we got our money's worth with that cabinet, really enjoyed it. And now that this upgraded version is coming out, a lot of us are more excited to maybe spend that money on an updated version because we've had time to, to really feel like we got our money's worth with the first cabinet. And this is probably the best example that I've seen uh, with Arcade 1UP really showing that they actually took time to just let a title, you know, really... Um, simmer and and really uh uh just just breathe within the community uh and now we're all ready for an updated version and that's what i wish arcade one up would do with a lot of these other titles now i get with pac-man and, and street fighter and mortal kombat i get it is hard because those are your main titles that's where you're getting your money from so i get you're gonna see some 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 re-releases but where i think they did it right was with Big Blue, they they put out another Street Fighter, but if you look at the list of Big Blue, it's not the same as the Capcom Legacy. The form factor is not the same as the Capcom Legacy. It, it's a Street Fighter, but it's a different kind of Street Fighter, and that's where I think they did it right. If you're going to re-release a cabinet, change up the game list a little bit. Change up the form factor a little bit. Make us feel... Like that cabinet is a little bit different. So we don't feel like you're literally slapping us in the face by giving us the exact same cabinet, but just a little bit better a year later. Change it up a little bit. And that's what I, I, I feel they did with the Big Blue. And that's where I applaud them. And then, like I said, as far as a timeline for a re-release, Golden T is probably the best example of that. But this whole situation with the other Legacy cabs, I, I completely take it as a slap in the face as a paying customer and someone in your community. And I really hope that Arcade went up just kind of sees that you're just burning a bridge with us. And, and I hope they acknowledge that. And I hope they understand what they're doing because it's to the point where I, I don't want to buy any of those newer cabs because I literally bought these cabs a year ago with my hard earned money. And now you're making me feel like they're devalued and that I need an upgraded version. I, again, I get, I don't have to buy them, but it, it 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 just it again it's it's kind of the same thing with the cell phone you don't have to buy the upgraded version of that cell phone but when they come out with a new one the next year with slight modifications a lot of people feel the pressure because they feel like their phone's devalued and i feel like arcade one up is trying to implement that same kind of thing with a lot of their cabinets so i hope arcade one up does more of the Golden T situation, if you're going to come out with the exact same cabinet, maybe add a couple more games, some Wi-Fi, give it a couple of years. If you want to do the exact same title six months to a year later, change up the game list a little bit. Change up the form factor. Make us feel like it's something different so we don't feel like we're literally getting slapped in the face for buying a product that six months to a year later you're devaluing. That is my ask of Arcade 1UP. 
And that's my ask for this hardcore community because I do feel like I'm speaking for a lot of people because I've talked to people that have told me they feel the same way that I do. So I hope our kid one up sees this video. I hope people share it so they hear what I have to say and hear what I feel the community has to say about this situation. Um, take care, everyone. Uh, let's keep on uh, enjoying, you know, these great cabinets. And uh, for anybody that does buy the new Legacy cabs, you're getting some great cabinets. I understand that. But for anybody that has the older ones, don't feel like you need to buy the new ones. You can enjoy those too. I know I'm going to enjoy mine. So take care, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you guys on the next video.